hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add a many to one field in oru so currently in the screen you are seeing oru wish version 15 community edition where we are continuing our oru 15 development tutorials so if you go to the sales module and if you open the quotations you can see a field customer and if you check its type in the pop-up you can see it's many to one so from here we can select customer that is if you create a record inside customer so i'll create a record called oru meets as a customer in this database and if you save this and if you come back to the quotations and if you click on create and here you can see if you search for oru meets it will be listed over here so similarly we will be creating a many to one field inside our hospital module so for that purpose what i'll do is that i'll be adding a new model in the database for the continuation of our tutorial series so what i'll do is that i'll be creating a new model called hospital dot appointment and its view first so let me quickly do that first so i'll go here and i'll copy this file paste and i'll name it as appointment so inside appointment we'll be adding a many to one field of the patient so let me explain what i'll doing is that we will be creating a new model called appointment and its view also we will be adding and inside appointment model we will be adding a many to one field to the hospital dot patient model so i have copied the file you have to import it in the init file so i imported in the init now what you have to do you have to change instead of patient its appointment appointment and here also i'll put appointment model name appointment and i'll keep this inherited hospital dot appointment i don't need anything i'll just keep it empty i'll keep it empty just define a model and what we have to do next we have to create a view so simply i'll copy the patient view dot xml paste and i'll rename it as appointment appointment view dot xml and if you come back here what we have to do we have to change the menu name instead of menu patient i'll put menu appointment and this string also you have to change so simply i'll copy the appointment from here appointment action hospital appointment patient master let's see i'll put 10 as a sequence so everywhere you have the patients you can put let me do this and we have to replace the model name hospital dot appointment here instead of hospital dot patient control r you can replace all in this file everywhere so i'll keep the tree as empty and i'll keep the form also empty like this all the fields will be removed but the chatter remains there and search view also i'll remove everything and just empty search view and in the context i'll remove this context create your first appointment so i have done so i think we have created a basic view so here we have a menu menu appointment this will call this action and this action will show this search view this form and this tree so we have to import this inside manifest file so here i'll import this file patient view.xml so we have just done that so we have simply created a new model and its view now we will just refresh and restart and you have to add its security so you have to add its security also else it won't get listed so instead of hospital dot patient it should be hospital dot appointment access hospital dot appointment 
model hospital dot appointment based dot group user everything remains same so we'll just restart the service and let's upgrade the module so we will upgrade the module so you can see the module is getting upgraded without any issues so here we can see we have a new menu called appointment so if you click on that everything will be empty because we haven't added any fields so what we will be doing here is that we should add a field of type many to one where we can select appointments so what i'll do is that you can go to the corresponding model that is appointment.py and here we will be defining a many to one field so i'm going to define a many to one field patient id so once you define a many to one field the syntax must be it should be end with underscore id so just try to follow the naming convention like product underscore id user underscore id like template id it should be end with underscore id so just keep in mind to follow this coding standard then fields dot which type we are going to define it's many to one so you can give like this many to one then inside this here you have to give which model you have to show inside this selection so inside this patient we have to show this model that is patient model i have to show so you can add it like this i'll copy this model name and it will put it here and string you can give a string i'll give a string as patient that's done so this is the syntax of creating a many to one field patient id fields dot many to one inside top this in single inverted comma that is if we didn't specify anything actually you can give like co model equal to let me search let me search like this ey you can give co model name i think co model name yeah you can see many to one field if you didn't specify you can give co model name like this or you can keep it empty so if you didn't specify co model name it will take the first one as co model name so if you let me i'll just explain it later so we have just added like this patient id equal to field store many to one show your model name string patient now i'll add this field inside our form view so appointment view so we have done a wrong thing we haven't changed this here you can see still this is same so this is a mistake from which you can learn so you can see view hospital patient form so right now if you search find in path you will have two records with same name you can see inside patient view we have a record and here also we have a record so what happens finally is that we will have only a single one in the database that is the final one so if you check the order of execution this will be loaded last so the first file that is patient view doesn't have any effect in the system so right now the appointment form is blank similarly if you go to the patient also it will also come in a this is as there is no default view so right now if you check the database so this is a good topic for you so if you come to the database to the views and if you check for hospital dot patient model hospital dot patient model you can see there is no view for that models so thus odoo is providing as a default view patient only name if you open you can see it's coming in a disordered order with available fields in that model you can see this activity state these all fields followers followers these messages are coming from the inherited model that is this model mail thread and mail activity mixing so what we have to do so we have to just change the patient hospital patient to hospital appointment control r and i'll change it to i'm just replacing with hospital appointment replace 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 so i have just replace everything now i'll just upgrade the module again so right now the 
patient form view look like this so once we upgrade everything will be back to normal because we have changed the id newly created id so the id will be getting unique and everything back you can see search panel comes back if you go to the form everything looks normal so you have to take care of that like the id must be unique so what we were talking is about the many to one field so we have successfully added it inside the model appointment so here we have the appointment field patient field now i'll copy this and i will add it inside this view field name equal to here so we have just added it in the view so let me restart the service and let's upgrade the module to see the change so you can upgrade the module from here so the module has been successfully upgraded and if i come to the appointments click on create you can see all the values and you are getting two false values here so we have successfully added the many to one field now i'll duplicate this tab and if i go to the patients and if i remove every filtration you have six records and here you have pineapple odomates pineapple odomates erp odomates erp odomates false false so the false and false is coming from these two records doesn't have any name so by default a many to one field when you are adding a many to one field it will show the value from name get function so regarding this function we will be discussing later so name get function will be taking rec name that all things we will be discussing later so right now if i put some name here john and if i save and if i come back here just let me refresh we have still two files which one it is yes here we have or any name you can put odo test save it move to the next tab put erp or you put just put youtube save and you can see all the patients will be getting listed and we can search also odo mates you can see it will list based on the search conditions and you can create if you need to create a new patient from here called Anne, you can just type so you can see there is no record named an in the system so it suggests whether you need to create just click on create it will create a record here you can see and a new record created and you have this option called create and edit but i can say odoo 15 i'll create a new patient over 15 create and edit it will open here from here we can change the gender things click on save save so it will create a new patient so this is the working of many to one field in odoo also it will be clickable if i click on these it will navigate to the corresponding view so this is how we can create a many to one field in odoo simply in the model level fields dot many to one and here we will have co model name so normally we will not specify this is the syntax co model equal to it will take value from the first position so if you need to specify instead of first position you can do like it also string patient and you can put it here because we are giving the arg name core model name you can give like this also and if you upgrade it will still work upgrade and there is no error we'll come to the appointments it will show but without core model name equal to you cannot give like this it will erase error so if you restart you can see let me try to refresh it may show error you can see 500 internal server error because you can see a red color is coming so if you are giving with core model name you have to give it as a first position here you have to give also if you don't need to give at the first position you can use core model name equal to and specify the model so you can see 
positional argument follow keyword argument so that's a wrong thing so we'll restart and if i refresh the in error will be disappeared so this is how you can add a many to one field in Uru. So I hope it's clear for you. If you have any doubts, feedbacks or suggestions, don't hesitate to share with us in the email that is odumates at gmail.com. So that's it for the day. Have a nice day. Thank you.